Okay, so this uh, part of the map tool tutorial um, is about vision blocking layer on tokens. So vision blocking layer on objects that you can move around the map. This is incredible because uh, we've wanted this since like 1.4, 1.5. I can't, I actually don't know when it first came in, but it's here now and I am super pumped about this. So um, what we're going to do here is we're going to set fog of war, control W, uh, and we're going to zoom in a bit. And we're going to make this door, we're going to make this door a real door. Um, you know, I use hand-drawn maps, so they are what they are. Hey, theater of the mind. Um, so let's go into vision blocking layer. So you can see here, I've uh, set the vision blocking layer to allow the windows to, to sh to be uh, to be see-through um, you know you could adjust this depending on drapes or blinds or whatever uh, but for now they're open uh, but the door is closed so let's open that up I'm going to use this uh, the the square tool and I'm going to erase the door itself so now the door is open but I don't want the door to be open when the characters show up so I am going to bring an actual door in so bring in the door and thank you doors and windows by bogey um the name is fine npc yeah well it's definitely not a player character door so um i'm in vision blocking layer right now i'm going to go to object double click on it and the first thing i want to do is have it not snap to grid right because i actually want to to move it so that it is essentially where the door is supposed to be then I'm going to go to vision blocking layer, make sure that this is taking up the space I want it to take up. Um, it's a little bit small, so let's see what happens when I uh, go to size large. Uh, what I'm worried about is it's going to be giant. Oh, uh, that's not bad. I'm actually okay with that. So size large is good. It apparently is some sort of iron door, but you know what, to be honest, I don't care for the purposes of our demo. Um, so I'm in object layer, double click on it, and now I go to VBL, vision blocking layer. So what I want to do is I take I take the, uh, the color selection picker, right, um, and I just use it on the background, the transparent background. I revert, I undo inverse and I generate vision blocking layer, and then I inverse it. Now you can see um, when I first hit generate token VBL, it gave me like a square all the way across. If I left that, then this giant area behind the door would also have vision blocking on it. And that, that would actually be a problem. So by, by hitting inverse, it makes just the door. Uh, so now just the door is blocked and I'm okay with that. So now we've got a door that has VBL on it. We have a building with VBL. So let's throw a token on here. So I scroll out a bit and we will throw a uh, Devon's Knight tokens. Uh, dwarves are my favorite and I will throw on this dwarf here. And this dwarf's name will be Lord Stubby. Lord Stubby was my first dwarf character when I was 12. So there you go, a little bit of trivia. Um, so Lord Stubby is standing here in front of the door and if I go, um, I believe I'm running a server, disconnect, yep, we're running the server. What that means is, um, it will, it will actually, um, update its own vision. However, I have to configure it to actually have sight. Okay. And then I have to configure it to have a light source. So here we go. Do, do, do. So you, with the outline here, you can see that the light source is working. Control I, there we go. Okay, so we've got Lord Stubby standing in front of the door with his light source. So if I jump in here and um, as DM, I grab this token, Shift Control. Uh, Shift Control allows you to, to move things uh, by small increments rather than 90 degrees at a time. And look at those lines. As I'm opening this door, 
more and more is being revealed. So if I hit Control I, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. So you can see the vision blocking layer is right across the door and nowhere else. So grab the door, door again. Open it up. And then Control I. And look at that. Lord Stubby can now see into the room. So this allows you to emulate doors um, and other things. Carts, um, opening windows, moving objects, all of that kind of stuff. It allows you to um, emulate what the what the players can see at any given time. Um, so this is a, a bit of a game changer for Map Tool uh, because it's now it's now not all or nothing. You can now have these movable objects that that limit sight. And then notice that when Lord Stubby moves into the room, if some if something or someone is hiding behind the door, they're still invisible. Lord Stubby cannot see them until Lord Stubby goes over here. And there we go. So that's vision blocking layer on objects. Super exciting. And um, I hope you enjoyed this very short map tool tutorial.